Scream audiences are, are very smart and they there's a lot of expectation. And I think um, the assignment is to surprise people at the end of the day. He's gonna keep coming after us. Maybe he gets to win this time. We've got to lure him in. And we execute him. It's a great background. Thank you. <laughs> it took me a while to create it. Uh, well, congratulations on your film. I really enjoyed it. Wow. That Thank opening you. sequence was like everybody's mouth was on the floor. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. So you broke the rules right from the start. Yeah. Yeah, he did. It was, uh, it was... We broke it. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite the revelation. Now, I love that you did it in a big city. Um, although they've gone out of Woodsboro, it's always been like this claustrophobic type setting, right? But here you're all over the city and you're in very public spaces and Ghostface attacks in very public spaces. So I mean, what was it like forming this new story and how'd you go about uh, breaking all these rules that we were so used to? Um, you know, I mean, credit to Jamie and Guy, they wrote a great script. And I think one of the things that they they brought to the script and then we brought to making the movie was making sure that we're subverting our own expectations and hopefully subverting the audience expectations. I think it's something that we constantly held our feet to the fire about. So if something felt like it was okay, we'd have to go in and be like, well, how do we make this? It's missing a gear. It's missing the next thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just collectively, we all got there to a place that I think for us was, it was a real departure from Screen 5, but in a way that we all set out to do, to make something that was wildly different. And I think that's hopefully what comes through when you watch the finished movie. Yeah, exactly. I feel like in the previous movie, I, I, this is my opinion, I felt like you had to kind of stick to the rules, kind of, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of abide by them. And here you have a little more freedom, right? So was that your feeling? Yeah, I think so. And I think the previous movie was also... We had to introduce uh, introduce Scream to a new generation of fans, which was also part of the assignment. And I think, you know, paying respect and homage to the to the rest of the legacy was a huge part of that. And I think you had to invite people in in a way that felt familiar and comfortable for old fans, but also really understandable and clear for new fans. And so with this one, it felt like um, we just had to take a left turn. It had to be something different. Not only not only creatively for us to stay interested and engaged, but you know, Scream audiences are, are very smart and they there's a lot of expectation. And I think um, the assignment is to surprise people at the end of the day. That's what that's what we love about these movies. And so having it set in New York, you know, it just it felt like what a cool opportunity to do something different. Yeah, you get out of the way meeting these characters. We already know them. So it's like, yeah, yeah there's no time to like really dig in. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I'm calling this movie gut wrenching, literally. We're on the edge of our seats and it is so graphic. My goodness, I had to look away. It was like, woo, too much. <laughs> <laughs> so at what point did you, I mean, the first one was pretty graphic and, you know, and violent, but this one is up a notch. So what was the discussion around, you know, just shocking people in that sense? It, it's funny because we, we've heard a lot how bloody and gory this is. And I don't think it's not something that we consciously set out to do, but I think kind of part of the, the discovery that we've had is that by setting it in New York, that we really just had to ground it. And by grounding it in a relatable place that we all understand and know, the violence becomes more real and it becomes mm -hmm. more and it becomes mm -hmm. scarier because it's a place that we all are familiar with and we all understand. And so Scream still has to live in that heightened world where everything's a little bit you know, above reality so we can have fun with it. But kind of finding that, walking that tightrope of real world place we understand, how can we do this in a way that's also still really fun? And I think that finding that balance in the violence was a big was a big part of the the the, the job. Now the reason I had the subway scene is because the subway scene was the scariest one. I was like, I love what you do with the lighting, and you know, oh, I don't want to I don't want to give it away, but oh my god, and you and you prolonged it. So I mean, that was kind of <laughs> genius. <laughs> Everybody knows the subway, so I mean, adding that little element is like there's no. Ghostface wasn't shy in this one, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that I think that what you said everybody knows, uh, everyone's familiar with it is that's a huge part of of uh, what was fun. You know, you playing with those expectations because we're now in settings that that are really familiar and um, are really pedestrian. That for us was 
there was so many, there was so much opportunity in that to find new ways to scare the audience. Well, you did it. Congratulations. I think <laughs> I haven't enjoyed a screen movie since the original. And this one, I kind of oh, got that kind of the same feeling. I was like, yes, kind of some, oh, some old in you. So I really liked it. That means so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.